I'm just going to tap it a little bit. I'm just checking it out to see if there's any, any internal flaws before I do it. There may be one in here. It feels like there might be something in there, but I like a challenge, so I'll, I'll map it anyway. Even for an expert, making a hand axe is not easy. Yeah, there's the flaw, but we got around it. A good toolmaker has to understand the properties of stone. To make this thing nice and thin, easier to carry, easier to transport, and more to the sharp cutting edge, I'm going to do something kind of counterintuitive. I'm going to dull the edge so that the next time I strike it, it won't fail until I have a lot of pressure on it. Until I've hit it really hard, the fracture will go much further than it otherwise would. So that Homo erectus did this tells us they were capable of thinking ahead, of planning the consequences of their actions. So let's have a look here. What will this, what'll happen here? Many of these stones have hidden defects. Okay. Failing to spot them could spell disaster. There's still a flaw in there. I can hear it. I can, I can tell you. Yeah, see this? It's right there. Now, I've worked around it, but if I were an early human and spotted this, I would stop making the hand axe right now. If I'm out running around the savannas chasing a rhinoceros and you know, I'm butchering a rhinoceros as the lions are circling and my hand axe breaks, I'm in trouble. So, you know, I go home tonight, I'm still gonna get fed even though I didn't make a perfect hand axe. As Homo erectus, I might end up being the meal instead. You know? 